Yeah. What's up, anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven and your boy Max. He's my buddy. He's joining me for fishing right now. We're out in Newport Pier. It's a little bit windy. Hopefully they can see me because he's shiny with that light. Yeah, you're right. You're super shiny. So what we're doing is we're just fishing. Well, it's really low tide right now. I can't show you guys because the camera can't pick it up. We're already halfway out on Newport Pier and the waves are crashing really close over there, which is unfortunate, but it's also fine because we kind of came out here on a whim. We didn't really plan it. I just literally asked him like a few hours ago and Max was like, yeah, I'll come along. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do our best. That's the best part of fishing anyways, is just trying to do our best and we'll see what we can catch. All right, let me show you guys my setup. I'm using the Sven again, the good old reliable Sven. It has 10 pound braided. I have it set up with a Carolina rig. Here's a half ounce egg sinker. Here's a little red bead, a barrel swivel, followed by six pound fluorocarbon. I have a size six hook and a tiny piece of good old reliable shrimp. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cast down in the relatively shallow waters and kind of just hope for the best. Getting a lot of tiny nibbles just dropping down right now. Might be really small fish. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh yeah. All right, there's the first fish. This one is a smelt. I actually don't remember what smelt this guy is. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. Here's my contender for hashtag first fish freedom. This guy is just a little smelt. He's nothing impressive. I think he looks really cool though. He's really shiny. I've also heard that you can catch halibut with live smelts, but this one's my first fish, so I'm gonna throw him back. So hashtag first fish freedom. Thanks for playing, smelty boy. Boop. While we're waiting, I'll give you guys a little information about pier fishing. Like I said, we're at Newport Pier, and when you're fishing at a pier, you don't need a fishing license. This is a great way to start getting into fishing if you want to give it a shot. You don't need to worry about a license. You don't have to hike out on the long jetty that also doesn't require a license. It's a good way to start. I'm already getting some nibbles. Probably some more smelt boys. Yeah, they seem like they're really small right here. There we go. Max's first fish, a little smelty boy. What are you gonna do with him? I'm gonna throw him back. Great fish freedom, hashtag. <laughs> Did you just kiss it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hashtag first fish freedom. Okay, you say they know how to swim, but they never knew how to fly. I'm not biting. Talk when you have the camera on, nothing happens, but when you have it off, everything happens. It's like when you were at school, when you miss a day of school, uh -huh. and there's like a whole lunch fight, there's like a whole <laughs> everything, but when you're there, nothing happens. Exactly. I feel that. Look, Max caught another one. Another one. Hey, it's a nice size one. So when you're fishing on the pier, you don't have to cast very far. If you look down, I don't think the camera can pick it up. Well, maybe. You see those little pilings right there? That's where all the mussels are encrusted. And there's like some worms and some crabs and stuff like that that are just chilling on the mussel colony. So fish like to hang around those. Now it's really risky to cast that close to the pilings because your line can get stuck. But if you cast close enough, you can track some fish maybe to your bait to the left of it. Just keep an eye out with your line. Oh wait, I'm getting some nibbles right now. Is he on? Yeah, fish like to hang around those little pilings. You don't have to cast fire at all. Just drop it and just watch your line. Yeah, something's there. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Yeah, I got a tiny yellow fin croaker. Look at this guy. That's really cool. This is really small. He's a little gut shotted. I think I can get it out. He's a little too small to want to keep anyways. So this guy was gut shotted. Yeah, he's a little too small for me to want to keep anyways. What do you want to do if they're gut shotted? They still have a good chance to survive if you cut the line as close as you can to the base of it. You do more harm trying to dig it out, which is why I just cut the line as close as I can without digging it out. And I'm going to throw him back and hope for the best. He's too small for me to want to keep and he has a good shot still. The hook will eventually rust out. So sorry, little guy. Sorry you got gut shotted, but thanks for playing. Hope you do well. I just gotta put another hook on now. Yeah, sometimes you end up gut shotting a fish you wanna release. Don't worry about too much. Oh, you left the hook inside? Yeah, I had to. So there's no size limits for yellowfin croakers, but I'm not gonna keep one so small. And if he happens to pass away, crabs and stuff will scavenge them. So we're not taking too much away from the ecosystem. You don't play Pokemon Go? I do play Pokemon Go, actually. Yeah. Add me. I'll add you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm all re hooked up. Got a little piece of shrimp. 
and see what else we can catch. And like I said, just be very careful when you're fishing next to the pilings, because if your hook gets stuck on the piling, you're not gonna win. The pier is a lot stronger than your fishing line. Oh, what you catch? Not either one you got, but it's bigger. Is it a yellowfin croaker? The fins aren't that yellow. It could be a white croaker. You don't want to keep white croakers. He's still small. I'd definitely throw it back. There you go. Nice fish, brother. My biggest fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's your PB. All right, let's let him go. Give him a little kiss. Time to fly. That one got me good. That one, that one be good. I mean, honestly, I just threw it like right here in the middle. You don't need big hooks either. All you need is these little hooks right here. Look, I think these are our size what, 12, I think. Very easy. You just put like a little piece of shrimp, just drop it down. You no know, big hooks. You don't need big hooks. Unless you want to catch like something uh, uh, like over yeah. there far. You getting a nibble? I was. But I had like cameras out. No. <laughs> <laughs> camera shy too. Let's see if your bait's still there. All right, they're going to start biting in three, two, one. They're, they're biting. They're biting. <laughs> Literally just cast it. They might be small. They might be nibbling around the yeah. hook. They got my bait, the top one. Maybe they're a little bit higher than if they're only going for the top. Sometimes fish like to hang at different levels of water in the water column. Some of them like to feed exclusively like on the way bottom. Some of them like to just be a little bit in the middle. What Max is kind of running is a high low rig. So he's covering the bottom and kind of like the mid section of the water. It's a good strategy to try to get an idea where the fish are. Yeah. Unless you know what you're targeting right away or where they are right away. Just gotta be patient, gotta be patient. What you catch? Another smelt boy. Yeah. May not be the biggest thing, but something you can work with. Yeah, definitely. It's always fun to catch things. Time to fly. <laughs> yeah, swim, but you never knew how to fly. Nice. Now he knows. <laughs> Maybe something's looking at this. Oh yeah, something's on. Something's on. I don't know what it is though. It's fighting pretty good. Oh, it's a baby thornback. A little baby thornback no, ray. That, you got that. You got that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. A nice baby thornback ray. All right. Let's get him back in the water. Later, spiky boy. Thanks for playing. Boop. <laughs> what? <laughs> we heard the bell go off. Maybe. Let's just see. I'm just going to reel up very slowly to see if there's anything that fights back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's Wait, it's, it's a fish, it's a fish. It's yeah, an actual it's fish. fish. Oh, the pillar. What's that? Oh yeah, it's a... It's a oh, I, I, I forgot what they're called. They're a type of sculpin. I think they're a type of sculpin. But nice, we actually got another fish. Nice cut, G. He's hooked really good too. I can get him off really easily. Let me get some gloves on. Wow, look at this guy. I don't think I ever caught this, Max. Do you know what they're called? Uh, I'm not even sure either. But I've caught a few though. Really? Yeah, Did they get like bigger? I'm not too sure. I think that's like the only size I got. I want to say it's a bullhead sculpin. It has a little bit of the sculpin characteristics. I mean, I'm not going to keep them, but this is the first time I caught this guy. So I'm going to throw him back. All right. Thank you, mystery boy. Thanks for playing. I'm pretty good with my identifications. Googled bullhead sculpin and I got the Pacific Staghorn sculpin and it looks just like it. Very nice. Okay, cool, cool. I've never caught them before. All right, so I'm casted back out. For the Pacific Staghorn Sculpin, I didn't just drop it right below. I wanna say I chucked it out at least like 50 feet into like the surf from the pier. So you can catch fish just dropping it straight down next to the pilings, or you can just cast it a good chunk out on the surf too. Like there's fish everywhere. It does take some time when you're not fishing next to a structure like a piling, but fish are just gonna wander. They're gonna look for food. They're gonna smell food, especially for bait. Um, Okay. All right, I'm gonna get ready for that. It stopped fighting. I'm just gonna reel it up, check the bait. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, you can just toss it out. Fish are gonna wander, they're gonna look for food. And especially for bait and weights, it's just gonna have a scent out there for them to find. What? Oh, hey, <laughs> what'd you catch? Another smelty boy? Yeah, it is, but bigger one though, look. Oh yeah, it's a good size smelt boy. Anyway, what I was saying before Max caught a smelt was look, yeah, something definitely went for it. It took a couple chunks out of my shrimp. The shrimp's still good, so I'm just gonna ring it back around. And there you go. So just make sure you have the hook exposed and you're solid. Something might be on this one. I'm gonna let Rod, um, I'm gonna let Max man the Sven. Reel up just a little bit. Does it feel like something's there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, go, 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 go. 
I hooked them good. Watch for the pillar, watch for the pillar. It kinda feels like a stingray. You think so? Wait. Why is there something big? No, no way, that's a big thor. Oh shoot, I have six pound line. I don't know if I can lift that guy up. You want me to try? Um, Start turning up the drag a little bit? We're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let me just move over here. Yeah, yeah move away from the pillar. So I'm gonna try to slowly lift him up by the line. And we're just gonna hope for the best because this is six pound line. Okay, he should be fine. He's not yeah, he's six. He's good, he's good. Keep reeling a bit, just reel slowly. I just gotta do very carefully. Very carefully. Like he's not six pounds, but if he thrashes, it might snap the line. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let's bring him back. Nice catch, dude. <laughs> That's yours. It's mine, but you got it. Is that a shark? This one, it's a thornback ray. They're related to sharks. They look like stingrays, but they're kind of related to sharks, if I remember correctly. So they don't have a stinger, but their back, as they're called, thornbacks, you see how their backs are really spiny yeah. and they're spiky and their skin feels like a shark. So you can carefully just touch them. Here, I'll hold the tail. It feels like a shark skin. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one though. It's really nice. Can I touch it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think these guys are related to sharks if I remember correctly, but they look basically like a stingray. Oh, wow. Thank you. Of course. No, I can't take it out. So this guy is severely gut shotted, but like I said, if they're gut shotted, you'll do a lot more harm trying to dig out the hook rather than just to cut as close as you can. I don't want to stick the knife down his throat to cut the line because I might do more damage. So I'm just going to cut it right here at the mouth. So right here, and then I'm going to throw him back. The hook will rust and he'll be just fine. Sorry, big thornback Ray. Sorry you have a hook inside you, but this is a lot better than trying to pull it out. Thanks for playing. I got a new hook on and a new piece of shrimp and then toss it back out. There is one problem when you're doing bait and weights is that if you're not actively holding onto it and you have a bell, there's a chance that they bite into it and then they swallow it. But like I said, I would do a lot more harm trying to dig out the hook than to just cut it and then let it rust out. Okay, I'm just gonna reel it up to check. Oh yeah, something's there. It's a baby stingray. Very nice. It's actually surprising because usually I catch a lot more stingrays by now. This is the first stingray. Had two thornbacks, now a stingray. Look at this tiny guy. So here's a little baby stingray. They have their stinger right here at the base of the tail. I don't know if I can show you there. The stinger's at the base of the tail. You wanna be very careful when you're handling stingrays. You could snap the stinger off. They will grow back. I just don't wanna leave this guy defenseless. You know what I mean? If you have a concern with safety, go ahead and snap it off. But here we go, a little tiny stingray boy. See you later, sea pancake. Thanks for playing. When you're pure fishing, I also do recommend going either really early in the morning or really late at night, like right now. That way you don't have to deal with the crowds. You don't have to deal with trying to find parking. And it also does help to go on the weekdays. Just a thought, but that's just me. What do I know, right? Ooh, something's thumping this. Hey, another stingray. All right, there we go. Stingrays are coming in. This guy's pretty gut shotted as well. And like I said, you do a lot more harm trying to dig out the hook. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut it as close as I can down there. Right there, be fine. Bye, secondary sea pancake. Thanks for playing. All right, it's starting to get late. Max and I are getting tired. We're just gonna call it. Uh, we already caught a lot of fish between us. How many did you catch, dude? Uh, I think I caught like around five or six, and then plus your uh, catch. And that was the first time I think I get a turn back ray. I think it's fun. Okay. Yeah, pretty nice. It was decent. And I hooked it on good, too. As soon as I felt that bite, I hooked it on good. It was pretty good. Very good. So yeah, we're just gonna call it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't filmed a fishing on a pier video yet, so this is the first one. Max and I had a blast. You wanna go again next time? Yeah, I'm down next time again. Let's see when. All right, all right. Let's see when you are available, and yeah. it, and we'll plan it. Yeah. We won't do it. Hey, you wanna go fishing later tonight? Well, we'll try to plan it better. <laughs> all right. Peace, guys. Also, this rag right here. Someone just left, so I don't want to touch it. I'm just gonna pick it up with my knife and just throw it to the trash can. Yeah. Pick up your trash, people. There we go. Easy peasy.